Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, February 26. It's the second week of Lent and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Add the scripture for this service. Psalms 56, 57, and 58. And Mark chapter 3, verse 7 to 19. Now join me please in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. Psalms 56, 57, and 58, and please recite them with me. Be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. They fight me all day and oppress me. My enemies would swallow me, for there are many that fight against me, O God Most High. When I am afraid, I trust in you. I praise your word. I have put my trust in you, and I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. Every day they twist my words. All of their thoughts are evil towards me. They gather themselves together. They hide and mark my steps, because they seek to take my life. Shall they escape by doing evil? In your anger cast down the people, O God. You tell my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not written in your book? When I call to you, my enemies retreat. By this I know you are on my side. I praise your word. I have put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. I am bound by the vows I made to you. I will render praises to you. For you have delivered me from death. Deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before you in the light of the living. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for my soul trusts in you. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge until travel, troubles pass by. I cry to you, God Most High, to you that performs all things for me. You will send from heaven and save me, from the reproach of them that would swallow me. Send forth your mercy and your truth. I lie among lions who would devour us all whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net to snare me. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God. I sing and give praise. Awake, my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will await the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the people. I sing to you among the nations. For your mercy is great and reaches the heavens, and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be above all the earth. O powerful ones, do you speak righteousness, and do you judge with equity? No, in your hearts you devise evil, you deal out violence to the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stops up her ears, which will not listen to the charmer's voice, no matter how skillfully he charms. Break their teeth, O God. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. Let them melt like waters which run off. When you bend the bow to shoot arrows, let them be cut to pieces. As a snail which melts, let every one of them pass away, like the stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they can put out thorns, take them away with a whirlwind. The righteous shall rejoice when they see the vengeance. They shall wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. 
And they will say, truly, there is a reward for the righteous. Truly, our God judges the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. Jesus departed with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him. Hearing all that he was doing, they came to him in great numbers, from Judea, Jerusalem, and beyond the Jordan, and the region around Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. For he had cured many, so that all who had diseases pressed upon him to touch him. Whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and shouted, You are the Son of God. But he sternly ordered them not to make him known. He went up the mountain and he went up to the mountain and called to himself those whom he wanted, and they came. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him, and to be sent out to proclaim the message, and to have authority to cast out demons. So he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Here ends the lesson. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. And for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Be merciful to us, O tender God, for we place our trust in you and will not fear those who oppress us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.